Hello everyone, today we will show you how to create a hide available DNS service in failover. On this example we will use two Artica DNS servers, one floating IP, and one client. The first DNS server will be our master or primary server. And the second one will be our slave or secondary node. The floating IP is the IP that will be shared between the failover nodes. Let's start to configure the primary node. Go to failover master menu, click on services, and create a new service. Select the service that you want to perform health checks, in this example we will use Unbound DNS. Set the floating IP address for the service. And finally set the IP of the secondary node. Click Save. Our DNS failover service are now up and running. To avoid false positive errors, we must increase the time out of the health check. Click on Primary Node. Services tab. Parameters. Set the timeout up to 10 seconds. And click Apply. Next, we need to change the Unbound Listen interface with the interface created on Failover Service. Go to DNS Menu. DNS Cache Service. Listen Interface. Enable the Failover Interface. Click Apply. And in the bottom of the page click Apply again. Now let's configure the secondary node. Go to failover service. And check the interface created to the failover floating IP. Next we must change the unbound service listen interface as we did on the primary node. Go to DNS menu. DNS cache service. Listen interface. Enable the failover interface. Click apply. And in the button of the page click apply again. Next, we must change the DNS address in our client. Go to DNS menu, DNS servers. In primary DNS server, set the floating IP of failover service. Click apply. Let's test the DNS resolution. Find the IP of our client. Now filter the DNS query logs from primary node and secondary node, to only show the results from our client. From the client let's query a domain name. As you can see the client is requesting to the primary node for name resolution. Now, let's create a fault on the primary node. On this example we will simulate a communication lost with a forward DNS like the Google DNS. Assume the failover detects the communication failure, automatically set the primary node in fault state and the secondary node as master state, this means that the floating IP belongs now to the secondary node. Let's query a new domain name from our client. As you can see, the server who responds now is the secondary node because the primary node are in fault state. Now let's simulate that the primary server regain communication with the forward DNS. As you can see, as soon the failover service detects the communication is reestablished again, automatically changes the primary node to master and the secondary node to backup. The floating IP also moves back to the primary node. Now the query domain name resolution from our client is replied again from the primary node. Thanks for watching this video. See you on next video tutorial.